If you've just bought the Quest 3, you've just been introduced to a small thing called Augmented Reality. A world of floating digital assets overlaid inside our reality. But this is just the beginning of this incredible future. And currently there are two paths for the development of this incredible technology. And what I'm going to show you is the other side to this coin. The side that will replace all phones, all screens and be the real exciting future of VR and AR and the next generation of Quest devices. This is Augmented Reality Glasses. Now, the glasses I'm referring to are ones like these. And you might be wondering, why should I care? Well, picture this, a future where your VR headset is always on you. Augmented displays are part of your life. And with the tap of a button, you can enter any world you can imagine. This is not only my vision of the future, but the vision of none other than Mark Zuckerberg. Now, I can't go into full product details yet, uh, but they're gonna be the next step on the road to augmented reality glasses. And they look pretty good too. The way these work are similar to the old arcade machines. And in terms of development, I'd place them in a similar position as the Oculus Go. But before I go into the glasses and what the future holds, I just want to explain the difference between these two types, because it's a fundamental difference that separates what we have now and what the future of VR and AR will be. The way AR works now is sort of the reverse of what I'm about to show you. The Quest pass-through cameras represent a version of reality, and with the combination of spatial mapping and inside-out tracking, this allows us to experience what I like to call fake augmented reality. Still incredible, but you're not truly seeing reality with your eyes, you're seeing a digital representation of it. But this is the easiest way to pack in all that hardware and gives us a taste of what's to come. This, on the other hand, is a good representation of how things might be done. This is the Ray Neo Air 2, their next generation XR glasses. And while they might just look like an ordinary pair of sunglasses, they are actually a 3 off 201 inch micro OLED 120 hertz display that weighs just 76 grams. I don't usually come across technology that I use daily, but these glasses are kind of mind blowing. Now, admittedly, it's really difficult to show how these actually look inside, and the camera footage does not do it justice. But just to give you an idea, this is a combination of screen recording and external camera footage. These screens are mirrored into your field of view, much like the mirrors in the old arcade machines I mentioned earlier. This essentially allows you to have a floating giant TV screen right in front of you. Through a dedicated app, you can also access some 3 doff environments and play some mobile games. And this is where the real interesting use case is, when you integrate it with your other devices, playing PUBG Mobile on a big screen with a controller, using your Steam Deck or Nintendo Switch combined with a Joy-Dock accessory. It's using it with things you do every day, what makes it shine. And while using the glasses, it really highlighted what's missing from VR currently, and that's comfort and size. I don't have a TV in my room, but I also wouldn't want to wear a quest on my head to watch TV or a film. But these glasses, on the other hand, are the perfect in-between of mobile and VR. The colours of the micro OLED display are excellent, and the sound is also far better than watching a film on my phone. The fact these fit into my pocket is also a huge bonus, and means taking them on bus journeys, trains or planes is just a better, more hands-free way to watch a screen. The fact that Air 2s are also 120Hz means playing Xbox or Steam Deck games is just an overall better experience. Which by the way, is how these function. These are essentially external displays, so they utilise the battery and processing of your phone or any other device connected to it. But using these also highlights what's going to be a huge issue for AR glasses, and that's field of view and transparency. You only get a field of view of just 46 degrees. Which seems low, but in the context of a TV screen at the distance displayed, that's still 201 inches for comparison. And these are heavily tinted. The lighter the environment, the harder it is to see the image clearly. These really shine well in dark or pitch black environments, which is going to be an issue for all AR devices in the future, as it's the digital that gets overlaid onto the physical, unlike the Quest, where everything is digital. But this is still the early days, and I feel like now is the time where AR glasses actually have consumer benefit, and that's essentially as a portable OLED TV screen, which is exactly what they are made for. This is seriously a great addition to VR, as it's the only part that's missing for me from our current VR headsets. I don't put on a VR headset to relax, and that's mostly because it's too heavy and noticeable on my head. Glasses on the other hand feel natural, 
and so to go to bed to watch a movie with an OLED display is a far better experience than just using my phone. But what's next is really where the exciting stuff happens, and this is the reason why I started this channel in the first place, and that's the future. I always pictured a world where I could take my screens with me, where digital overlays were integrated into my life, and it sounds slightly dystopian, but this is the future I've always wanted to see. You might see some videos floating around with people going about their daily lives with quests on their head, watching movies in the gym, or generally just taking their screens with them, but the problem is one of two things, weight and discreetness. I I couldn't personally take the quest to the gym because it's an eyesore, but these on the other hand are far more discreet. I wouldn't look twice if someone was wearing these. The future where our screens are integrated into our lives is already here. The Rainio Air 2 gives me a glimpse of a world that I've been envisioning. I can play Xbox games wherever I like, take a movie theatre on a plane, bus or to bed, even expand the use of my PC to add multiple displays in places where previously that was impossible. All of this on what is essentially a pair of sunglasses. And that's the main difference here. The time when a Quest can fit into your pocket and have the form factor similar to that of the Ray Neo, the world will not be the same again. If you'd like some more information regarding the Ray Neo Air 2, links are in the description. And if you like the video, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.